hi guys welcome back to my channel uh, today in this demo video we are going to practice uh, array right using an array we are going to identify the smallest number and the largest number guys please subscribe to my channel in, in case you have not because I do come up with more interesting videos every day and you'll be get benefited if you like my video please do subscribe all right so let's get started uh, so array practice so let's do that so I have already created a uh, design let me run this up and show you so this is the array that I have defined already and when I run this what happens all right now you can it can automatically identify 0 is the smallest number and 109 is the largest number so let's see how do you create this so for that let's quickly create new sequence and make it a smallest and largest number using array so you can give a smaller name that's fine click on create all right so once the se sequence is created the first thing that i have to do is i have to create an array so i'm going to show you how do you create an array and what is the difference between array and a list see array is something i define it in the beginning okay it is not dynamic i mean i cannot use an input dialog box and ask for numbers from the customer and then enter into an array okay because array is predefined wherein list i can use it is there in my previous video if you would like to understand what is list and there's a very nice uh, demo example that we have so there you can understand the difference between list and array but array is something you need to remember now is a predefined one so let me create an array stating num number array right so for that control k num array now the moment i always say the moment you use assign quickly go back to variable in num array i have to change the variable type so i'll select array of t and here i will select integer 32 click ok all right so now this is created now if i have to enter some values all i have to do is i will use the curly brackets and start entering numbers any number you like for example 88 comma uh, 1 comma 0 comma uh, let's say 200 comma 350 comma thousand so thousand is the highest number and the smallest number is zero here okay so now the number is already defined next thing my job is to identify the smallest number and the largest number so what i would do i have to use a for each loop so that i can iterate through all the data inside the array and find the smallest and find the largest number so how do you do that so for for that one i'll be using something called for each loop okay the moment you drag for each loop one thing to remember immediately go to type argument and change it to the kind of uh, data type you'll be using so here i'm using integer 32 type so i'll be changing it okay that is the first job now the i need to loop through the entire set of array so for which my array name is num array so what happens here the moment it runs it will pick one by one so let me show you that because many people might get confused here so let me show you how it works so when i drag a message box right and i want to see what is there in the item i'll simply write item okay so each number will get fed into uh, the item while the for each loop is running okay now item is an integer type so there's an error so all i have to do is item dot to string the moment I do this, the error is gone. Now let me run it so that we get a clear understanding of what is an array and how does this for each loop works. Okay. So now you can see the first number is 88 has come. Next is 1. Next is 0. Next is 200. Next is 350. Next is 1000. Right. So this is how the for each loop works. Very good. So we learned that. So I will remove it. Now before I could find the min max, what I will do, I am going to create two variables. Okay. So I will be using assign activity and here I am going to create two variables one is the smallest number okay smallest num and here I am going to assign the first data of my array so my array name is num array which contains all these values and the first value is will be there in the zero index so I will type zero okay so what what is happening here there is an error so quickly go to variable and just see 
what happened here. Now the smallest number what you typed you did not use this control K. So let me do it again control K and then smallest now. Okay, so that was the problem. So now the error has gone. Okay, similarly, so having error is a good thing because that is where you learn. Now I'll be doing a largest number, right? So control K largest now. Okay, now again, this one also will have the first number that will be 88 will be assigned to them. And why we are using this, we will see it. So now I'm going to use a if activity. And I'll drag it and drop it here. Now let's say the first number is 88. So what I will do, the item is going to iterate through all the numbers. So what I will write it here, item. If item is smaller than the smallest number which I have already defined. If anything he finds that is smaller than the smallest number, in the then section what I will do, I'll use another assign activity and replace that with the smallest number that simple it is okay so I will say small less number should get replaced with the new less number because if it is something less than the smallest number which I have already defined then it will going to replace so 88 where it goes to the next one 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 is smaller than 88 so that will get replaced here okay so that way we will keep on filtering through the entire loop and find the smallest number the same thing I will re replicate I just copy paste this copy go here paste it okay now all I have to do if item and erase this to find the largest number if item is greater than the largest number which I have already defined if it finds something greater than the this one then it will it is going to replace the largest number with the newly found largest number all right so that way the largest number will be filtered out now how do you check that for which I'll be using a message box okay and there is quite something interesting about this so I'm going to put this out of the for each loop okay this is the for each loop so I'm going to keep place it outside the for each loop so because this is the integer type so I need to know the smallest number right so I will say smallest number dot to string remember this so message box is always a string type so always use a two string now here this is the smallest number right so I'll use a plus sign so let me open this editor and then I will show you all right so what I did smallest number dot to string plus and then I have to type space is the smallest number in array okay now I have to write a line below this so I will use plus sign and then I will say environment dot new line okay then again I'll use a plus sign and here I will write the largest number so largest number dot to string okay plus I will write it as is the largest number largest number okay done there's no error I'll click on okay now quickly run this okay this is the what has started now it can easily identify zero is the smallest number in in this array and thousand is the largest number okay you can change your message box as you would like so what I will do instead of thousand and instead of zero let's say I am replace it with let's say I will say something like seven so the smallest number now is one and instead of thousand I am going to make it uh, let's say I am going to make it uh, 107 let's say so the largest number will be 350 correct so let's run this okay now one is the smallest number 350 so th this condition is working really nice so this is how uh, you find the smallest and largest number this is one of the practice in UiPath Academy uh, and I have taken a different example for you to make it easy thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe to my channel I do come up with daily videos and you will get benefited please like and subscribe thank you for watching this video have a wonderful day